Look at verse 10. Keep going. Look at it here. Verse 10. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Come on. TPT. Stay with TPT. That's where we are right now. We will go, but we, 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 it's verse 9 and 10, but I, know, I don't know if you can put both of them. It's, it's just giving me 9. It's what? It's just giving me 9. Yeah. Okay, 12 of them is 9 and 10. Okay. Okay, give me NLT verse 10. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. It says what? Verse 10, verse 10 of NLT. Just want to see an NLT. It says what? No evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your dwelling. Somebody say, no evil, no evil. will conquer me. Oh, say, say, no evil. No evil. As I dwell in the house of God, as I'm planted in the house of God, no evil will conquer me. No plague will come near my dwelling. It will not come near you. <laughs> yeah. No evil, no plague. And plague talks about disaster. Pandemic, epidemic, everything, plague, that's what it is. I say, it will not come near your My dwelling God. place. Amen. Amen. That's why I say, no disease will infect us. Amen. Go to verse 11. Go back to uh, Living Bible if you can. The, another benefit here, we've moved from plague now. Let me go to show you something here. The benefit of dwelling in God. Let's see if we can take one or two more. Are you getting blessed? Oh, are you getting blessed? Amen. You see, don't shy away from embracing God's truth. That's how you make it your reality. You own it. Whenever you see a promise of God given to you, embrace it. That's how you become a partaker of it. God promises sound too good to be true, but they cannot be a lie. Amen. Because God cannot lie. Yes, sir. So you need to embrace the truth of God's word. You know, sometimes when they see promise of God, oh, it's too good to be true. That's what good news is. Yes, sir. Too good to be true. Jesus went to a house of somebody and they said, the person is dead four days. Hmm. Jesus said, he shall rise again. The sister said, no, in, the, in, 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 in eternity. Jesus said, no, no, no. Now, I'm the resurrection and the life. You, why do you have to wait till eternity when God is now? Yes, sir. <laughs> see, they say, they, God, they say, by now it's stinking. It's so bad. Forget about it. God said, stinking. I can bring new uh, aroma hmm. or fragrance on what is stinking. Mm. And he called a dead man that has been dead four days back to life. Mm. Hmm. That's the God that created you. Amen. Yeah. You have to believe his word. Yes, sir. Believe his word above your senses. Believe his word. Take his promises. Receive it. I run for I rush for the promise of God. When I say I say, God, if this is I want to prove it, how can I why, why will I be serving God? I'm not I'm like Peter. He said I can walk on the water. I'm jumping. Let me see. Let me see. What, what I can there's some testimony I can't share with you because of security reasons. <laughs> I can't share with you. But it's working. Amen. Well, yeah. Yes, sir. And that will become your Lord. So I'm saying, please embrace the promise of God. Mm -hmm. It will help you. Amen. Look at it here. Say what? For what? This is what God does for you when you are dwelling in His house. He what? He orders His angels to protect you wherever you go. Somebody said the angels. The angels. They protect me. They protect me. Wherever I go. Wherever oh, I go. someone say, say the angels. The angels. They protect me. They protect me. Wherever I go. Wherever. Look out for them. Wherever you are going. You want to travel by air. Don't fear. Just look at where are the angels. Yes, sir. I normally see angels when I when I when I fly. Mm -hmm. I see one with his back like he's carrying the plane. The pilot thinks he's flying, but no, it's not the pilot. The angel is carrying it <laughs> because the pilot can sleep. I mean, this is pilot that's both the pilot and the co pilot. They could be doing anything in that cockpit. Once they lock them, <laughs> they could be drinking. You are thinking that is a, they say, I'm so so pilot. Say, no, Jesus is the captain of this Amen. flight. Amen. His angels are on guard. <laughs> Left and right and water. Where are the angels? Uh -huh. I'm fine. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Even you're driving your car, try to see angels as you go. No accident for you. Amen. He, God, what? Once you are living in his house, he orders his angels to go. 
If you are living in the White House, they give you, if you are, if you are important to the president, they give you security uh, operatives that go with you. They'll be there. People don't know that they are with you. When you are shopping, they are just there doing their own thing. Government gives security. What more God? Amen. He gives his angels to protect you wherever you go. When I go play, someone say, hello, Bishop, are you alone? I say, never alone. Never. Right now, we are, there are angels here. Amen. The Bible says, we have come unto Mount Zion, the city of the living God. We have come to the, uh, uh, the company of innumerable angels. There are angels right here, Amen. as we are here. Yes, sir. There are innumerable angels. If God will open your eyes, you'll be so amazed. Amen. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 12. Can we see that? Hebrews 12. Are you there? Yes. Go to verse number. Hmm. Verse number. Yes, 23. 22. Stay with 22. Look at it there. 22. Two. Hebrews 12, 22. Look at this. This is what happens in church. You say what? We have come, where have you come to? We have come to Mount Zion, unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, what? To what? An innumerable company of angels. Where is that? Look at the next verse. It will tell you where it is. To the general assembly and the church of the firstborn. So every time the church is gathered, God says, I will be in the midst. Mm. God is the head of the church. His operatives are angels. Where would he go anywhere without his angels? Mm. So there are angels. We are standing on holy ground, and I know that there are angels all around. Let us praise Him, Jesus now. We are standing in His presence on holy ground. Many people don't believe the word of God. They are unbelieving believers. That's why they don't go to church and they don't know there are angels. That they act carelessly. They don't even go to tap power. Right. Say, oh, when I call somebody, say, I'm say, oh, wait, when we are not seeing, so say, I'm sick. I say, something is not. You are not only sick. Something is sick in you. Because <laughs> if you are sick, the house of God is the healing house. Amen. It's the house of healing. Yes, it's where God is. So if you are sick, where should you be? In the house of God. You should be in the house of God. So you only come to the house of God when you are well. Then you are not, you are not really well. <laughs> <laughs> when you are sick, you bundle yourself and go there. Ah, yeah. I've been sick myself when I fever, sickness, or whatever has attacked me. I come to church. You all can, can tell. I come to church. There was a, there was a time we went, we, we traveled. I don't know what. We, we, I drank on the way. I was sick. My body pained me everything. It was church. I said, once I get to church, I said, when I go to the church, I sat down. I said, Lord, I'm here. I'm going to preach. I came to preach. The moment I started my first two verses, my wife was looking at me like, I thought you were almost done before. I said, no. Uh, the healer. Amen. I'm in the house of the healer. Amen. I went back healed. Amen. Oh, yeah. Every time. And when you come more regularly, sickness doesn't, doesn't harass you anymore. Amen. Oh, yes. The church, there are angels. Say, wherever you go, will give what? His angels charge over you to protect you. Amen. I see angels protecting you from today. Amen. I, say, I see angels protecting you from today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Look 